Good morning, 727. Rick Sorensen in the studio this morning, our Putnam County Superintendent of Schools. Good morning. Good morning, Robin. Always good to have you here, and we love when you come in the day after the school board meeting to sort of tell us what's going on. Although, I have to tell you, I've been seeing some chatter on Facebook with people talking about school time. So let's just dive right in and talk about that. Yeah, let's just go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday our school board really uh, did a courageous thing and um, approve our school time change where basically our secondary schools are starting later in the day and our elementary schools are starting earlier and I know that was a hot topic still will be a hot topic but it, they did the right thing yesterday well just a couple of weeks ago when you were here we had a listener ask a question and it was basically about start times for high school students and how they you know, need more sleep and should start later, or some sort of study that was done about that. And and so was that a consideration, or this is something you've already been looking at? Or? Yeah, there's a lot of research out there about the, the effect of secondary school students starting later in the day and how it improves student achievement. They're awake more often, uh, less truancy. There's a, a number of reasons why that is a good thing. And actually, elementary stu students are more alert earlier in the day. And I know it, there's a lot of uh, concerns about that, about you know, change in those times because it inconveniences parents and that type of thing. But I do want to point out, we do have a video that was shown yesterday at the school board meeting that we're going to put on our website and Facebook page that really explains the rationale behind changing that. So I would urge you to uh, maybe later in the day go to our website and you can uh, look at that video. So is there a place for people to go online also to see what the times were changed to to get more information about that? Yeah, that should be, I think we can have that on our website today and, uh, and our Facebook page and we'll make sure that's posted. Okay, sounds great. I know it was in the paper first thing this morning too, so everybody's already been talking about that. Uh, but besides school start times, what else is happening in the Putnam County School District? Well, this is the time of year where we have graduations and uh, all of our award programs and I do want to point out we we're making a little change this year in our award program for our top seniors. In the past, we've had the top 50. Mm -hmm. uh, starting this year, we we're calling it the top scholars. And again, with the uh, 12th grade, this being the first year of 12th grade at QI Roberts High School, junior senior high school, we want to make sure that we're equitable. So what we're doing is we're honoring all the top seniors with a 4.0 GPA or higher and the top 10% of all the seniors in the, all the high schools. So that sounds like it'll be more than just the top 50. Yeah, we're probably looking at close to 100 students, well-deserved students. And uh, we'll change the format of the banquet, of course, to make it go faster, but we, we do want to make sure we honor all those students who you know, deserve that honor. Absolutely. Well, we'll come back and chat in just a couple minutes if you And we're chatting with our superintendent of schools, Rick Serenci, and talking a little bit about the things that happened in the school board meeting yesterday, and of course, all the excitement as we look towards the end of the year. Yeah, I also want to talk about our magnet school that we're beginning next year at Mosley Elementary. And uh, I know we talked about it on our last show, but May the 12th is going to be a big day for Mosley. That's going to be our kickoff for the magnet school. I believe it'll be at 9 a.m. on their track. And uh, as you know, that we're gonna be uh, starting an AVID program at Mosley next year to help encourage kids to be aware of college and careers. So uh, it's gonna be an exciting time next year at Mosley and it starts May 12th. Sounds great, and I watched the video for that on the Putnam School's YouTube channel this morning. So always a great place to keep up with what's going on in the school district. Yeah, absolutely. And as I mentioned a few minutes ago, we are putting a movie or, I'm sorry, a short video on our Facebook page and our website about the reason why we're changing our start time. So I would encourage people to go to that link and uh, just get some information about some of the research out there on why we're changing times. And I know it's going to be an inconvenience, uh, and I know some concerns about elementary students catching the bus early in the morning. And I'm just going to ask the parents... Maybe work with parents in your area to help supervise students at the bus stops you know, early in the morning. And I know if we all work together, we can make this happen. Sounds good. Yeah. So a few other things that are going on as we get closer to the end of the year. Of course, this week, Teacher Appreciation Week. So we want to say thank you to all the teachers and those that work so hard with the students every day. Yeah, um, just, encourage, amazing work. just encourage um, parents, if you have anything you want to send to your child's teacher, or uh, kids, if you want to say something or do something for your teacher, this is the time to do it. 
and I know uh, a lot of organizations are doing things like collecting apples and you know sending things to teachers but you know teachers just like to say hey you're doing a great job and we appreciate you that means more than anything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And of course, the big news is the play this week. The uh, m the Les Miserables starting this is it this week? Already? Starts this week, yeah. tomorrow night. And it's going to be a good time for our community, and I urge everyone to come out. Get your tickets now if you can. Ralph's House of Flowers and at PHS, I believe. And of course, you know, you're always proud of the musical productions that are going on, but your son is in it and he's sort of transformed a little bit this week. And I think some of the other students have as well as they're really kind of taking the parts on. Yeah, my son actually came home and uh, with some longer hair than he normally has. <laughs> and, and that's for the part. I know he won't keep that, but um, anyway, he's having to dress the part and, you know, it's going to be an exciting time. So we look forward to it. And, Appreciate everything that Mr. Pignato is doing. And really, the video that was done to advertise the play that's on the school's Facebook page and the YouTube channel is really good. And it highlights not only you know, some of the students and the characters that they're portraying, but they talk about how it's impacted them in their own lives, in their, you know, their school experience and their day-to-day -day life. And it's pretty amazing what just acting in a play can do for a kid and so I think it's a wonderful thing for the whole community to come out and support. You know the arts are so important because it helps you know round out those students and, and just really you know make them uh, make school more meaningful and life more meaningful because they can really see the importance of the arts and performing. And I also want to point out if nothing else come out and see the set design of the play. It's remarkable. You're going to see the, the entire stage will be moving like a turntable. Wow. And uh, it's going to be a, a sight to behold. And I want to commend all the people who have volunteered their time to make that happen. I also want to point out, you know, uh, Mr. Pignato put this play on back in 2003, I believe. And it was a great success then. And I understand a lot of those former actors are coming out to this play. So a lot of those, it would be kind of neat to see, you know, how their lives have been transformed through that experience. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you coming in and letting our listeners know what's going on in the Putnam County School District. And, of course, they can keep up with what's happening on the website, the Facebook page, the YouTube channel. No shortage of ways to get information out. So if you've got questions, putnamschools.org is probably the best place to go to get started in finding yeah. those. Thanks, Robin. Always glad to be here. Thank you so much. We appreciate you coming in.